Ah, uh ah. -uh. Before you leave, I need you to hand these notes over to you know who. Her dorm room is number 341, and the key code to get into the complex is 1952. Not very creative, is it? The year the college was founded. <laughs> Thank you, young man. Now run along. Just one second. That was a lot more difficult than I expected. I don't really have my lungs on me right now. Oh, sorry to keep you wait. Oh, it's you. How come you're here? On the notes. Yeah, I emailed the lecturer. Thought that they would bring them up themselves for some reason. So the lecturer picked you out of everybody? But you didn't refuse? I thought you would have made a song and dance about it, all things considered between us. Why would you be so nice to me? <laughs> You're a funny one. I knew it from the moment I saw you. I haven't been to class, cause surprise surprise, I'm pretty <laughs> sick right now. <coughs> I can hardly stand up with my lungs feeling the way they are, it's like they're at half capacity. Well, don't just stand there and close the damn door behind you. <laughs> I need to lie down, I, I feel a bit faint. You can just put the notes down there and make yourself comfy or something, I don't know. Mm? You don't want to stay? I mean, I guess you can go, there's nothing holding you back. Why, you uncomfortable because you've never been in a girl's dorm room before? Oh, I don't have a dorm mate because, well, I needed the space and it was being difficult. They stopped sending new roommates after a few of them went crying to the office, calling me mean. I said it to them, to the people in the office, that I'll have new roommates crying to them about wanting to move out, so they really just shouldn't give me one in the first place. But, did they listen? Absolutely not. So instead, <coughs> I have to hurt their feelings, and I'm somehow the bad guy in this scenario. Ugh, I warned them. <laughs> they were threatening to kick me off of campus, but for how much I pay for tuition, absolutely not. Plus, I pump up their numbers with my GPA and credit classes and all that. It's such an inconvenience getting sick and not being able to breathe through my nose. You know how you can do that right now? Yeah, you better cherish and appreciate it. Because I am hella blocked up right now. I've just been wasting away like this for the last week. I don't even know where I picked this up from. We're already this deep into the semester, so it's not like that flu that goes around right at the start because so many new people are mixing and sharing their nasty bugs and germs to each other. <laughs> it's like germs, guns, and steel, but it's germs, books, and one butthole coughing, and then the rest of the class gets sick. <sighs> I don't even remember anyone touching me. I mean, do I look like I'm the cuddling type? Huh, I do, as if I would ever rely on a man. You don't see me hanging on someone's arm like a little lost puppy dog. I'm unapproachable for a reason. I want it that way. Just want to be left alone to my studies. And why did I invite you into my room? I don't know. Why did you come in? All I do is pick on you and tease you relentlessly. Yet, you didn't even have enough of a backbone to tell the lecturer no. It's like, you can't see how truly... What's the word without complimenting you? How efficient of a man you could be if you gained some confidence and became self-assured. What's that smirk for? I've never seen you happy around me. Huh. Eh? I said I wasn't going to compliment you on purpose. Now be nice. I'm sick and I feel rotten. 
It's honestly been years. The last time I was ill like this, I think I had my mother care for me and put vapor rub on my chest. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm like constantly fighting back these coughs as well. There's nothing to even cough up in my lungs. Mm? Hey, where are you going? Uh, off so soon? <sighs> yeah, um, well, thanks for bringing the notes. I appreciate that. Sorry for... Sorry for being a dickhead all the time. You're not bad. Just mistaken, I guess. Bye. See you around. God damn, that was dumb. What was I thinking? Letting him come into my dorm? It's a mess for one. I... I don't know, I thought he would be able to cheer me up somehow. <sighs> I've been lonely with this sickness. There's only so many YouTube videos to fill the void, and then I'm reminded of how cripplingly alone I am. Fuck. Why do I have to be such an asshole all the time? If I had any friends, they'd actually be willing to come over and look after me. <sighs> What's that saying again? You've made your own bed, no light. Maybe if I study for a bit, it'll... Take my mind off the damp pressure in my skull. Huh? Eh? You're back? What's with the dumb look on your face? Eh? You bought vapor rub at the store? And you got me food and snacks? What's up with you? I'm no good for you, buddy. Nothing but a horrible, mean bully, and yet you still show kindness? You're like a damn puppy that doesn't know it's been rejected. Fine, come in, but you are bizarre. You know that, right? It's like any insult bounces off that magnificent dome of yours. <laughs> what? I never said I'd quit it. Call it a playful personality. Really, you're gonna make me tea? <sighs> I didn't know you had some British genes in ya. You always did strike me as an Englishman with your manners. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I get for making a joke. Damn, you got the honey and everything? Do I, uh, need to pay you back for this? I do have the money, I promise. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry. I just, I have to wait until I work my next shift, and then I can pay you, like, a week after that. Aw, oh, come on, you don't expect me to, like, accept <laughs> all this stuff for free? Plus, let's not mention, you are around a sick person? You, you get that, right? I am snotting away over here with all these tissues, I'm coughing, you could catch this too, and then you'd be off and... Fuck, I'd have to come look after you, <laughs> wouldn't I? Well, yeah, you didn't really hesitate with me much. I literally just mentioned in passing my mom used to do vapor rub to me, and you disappeared only to return with a bag full of goodies. I have to show some appreciation back to you. As much as it pains me to admit it, I, um, I haven't received much kindness in life so it sticks out when someone does something is that why i what <laughs> push people away i i suppose you could say something like that people in this world can be like me right they can be mean and pick on you and say horrible things so why be the person to get picked on when I could just do it to others and be left alone. They can gossip about me behind their backs all they want, but they'll never say it to my face or let on that they're even talking about me. It's funny, people go silent when I enter the room or get too close to them. It's like I just know that they're blathering away about me. They can never make it less obvious either. Um, yeah, I'm... I'm sorry for being an asshat. You're right, I, it just... There's nothing I can say that excuses it, 
to be honest. So I do apologize. <laughs> hey, why are you hugging me? You trying to make me cry or something? Jeez, <sighs> alright, I admit it. It's kinda nice being held like this. In a platonic way. I'm not trying to be weird here. <sighs> Since... You know, since we're alone in my room right now on my bed. Jeez, stop. I can feel you grinning like a damn cat. And I can't even see your face right now. <sighs> no, I'm serious. Uh, okay, yeah. Walk away and pour me the tea. Alright, alright. So I struggle to make human connections due to avoiding behaviors, and you display avoidance when it comes to admitting your attributes? Interesting. Can you not handle compliments or something? Or are you a weirdo that likes being degraded or something? <laughs> I was kidding, but maybe I'm onto something. Could you ever confess a sin so large? Call me a nun because you can confess to me. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's worse things out there. Suppose it would explain why you weren't so horrified to see my face. Ah, oh, come on, we're both adults. Young adults at that, but still, why never be in a situation where you could express yourself in a romantic light? I'm just curious, I don't normally let dudes get within like 10 steps of me. I can imagine being a girlfriend to someone, it just doesn't suit me. You think I'm dumb? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> you need to stop making me laugh. This genuinely hurts me. <laughs> I am not dumb. I want to be a little squishmallow, I suppose. Well, yeah, didn't you notice I kind of melted when you hugged me for a second? Uh, I guess I'm not that easy to read. Could I... Could I ask a favor? Could you, um... Well, first let's just say that whatever happens in this room stays between us, but... Could you rub vapor rub on my chest? I would do it, but I have long nails and it would get stuck under them if I did it myself. So, yeah, do you, do you, are, you, are you willing? Hmm, I'll, um... I'll lie back then. Just don't do too much, alright? Well, this is a weird point of view I've never seen before. <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> stop. Okay, okay, I'll stop laughing. It's really hard when I lie back and do that. Um, alrighty then. I will lift my top up a little. Don't look, okay? Just, just look a little to aim then. Just do it below my collarbone, my clavicle, if you paid attention in biology class. <laughs> oh, damn. Whew, that's, uh, it's actually helping. Oh, I think I could fall asleep like this. You wouldn't be insulted if I didn't drink your tea right at this moment. I feel pretty, pretty peaceful, yeah. I haven't rested well, to be honest. I've been up all night because of the pressure in my head and my nose. I wasn't kidding when I said that you should be grateful for breathing out that cute nose of yours. <laughs> ah, so you do blush when you're getting complimented. Oh, come on, you can't blame me for doing it. This is a unique situation. You're literally looking down on me while I lie defenseless in my bed. You're loving this. Admit it. You could get sick because of this, right? You didn't realize that. You are willing to risk sickness just to help me in this <coughs> damn moment. Uh, are you, like, immune to illness or you just don't care? Like, when was the last time you were sick? Oh, well, I guess you better get ready for my germs to work their magic on you in two days. <laughs> what? It's kind of true. I mean, this room isn't exactly ventilated, 
you're now directly touching me, and you've touched the cup I did, so statistically, it's over for you, bozo. <laughs> Poisoned by your bully. What a way to go. Hey, uh, how long are you staying here for? Just I, uh, mm, I can't seem to think of the correct way to say it. Can you stay? Well, for longer than longer. Could you stay with me tonight? Maybe look after me a bit more. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I promise I'm not trying to get a sympathy cough out. Uh, I, I just, I haven't felt like this in a while. How do I feel? Uh, appreciated, I guess. You're making me feel appreciated and cared for. I know you probably have something to get back to, but I'm asking. Please stay with me. Thank you. I really mean it. I don't know why I feel different about you. <laughs> Maybe I'm delirious, but I'm pretty content right now. I think that's enough rubbing for now. Thank you. You could, um, lie down with me so you can keep me warm, alright? Uh, um, yeah, you can just put your arm around me. I don't mind. I haven't really cuddled like this before with someone, so sorry if I suck. <laughs> I don't know, like, I could just be a bad partner to cuddle. Not that we're partners, just... You know what I mean. <sighs> That's nice. I didn't realize how much heat you radiated. No, no, it's good. I've been so cold and they don't exactly let me change the heating in here. Can I lift the covers up over us? I can scoot back a bit against you more so we can fit in the bed better. It's not the biggest bed, but I think we can manage. <laughs> oh, that feels nice. Hopefully it feels good for you too. If it's uncomfy on your arms or they get dead, then just tell me and we could swap sides in the bed. I still want to be the small spoon though. Hey! <laughs> Oh, don't squeeze me like that. My lungs are already not working. <laughs> so please, oh, let me rest. I'm sleepy. <sighs> See? I told you I was sleepy. If you stay the night, I don't have food for you, though. You could have my snacks that you got. No, no, I, I couldn't. I... I don't have the money to pay you back for the takeout as well. You're bleeding me dry by accident, you understand? <laughs> huh? No, I never came from a rich family. I'm on state sponsors. Why, is that a shock? That's why I study so hard and ignore everyone. I think if I made friends, it would be more of a distraction. Oh, no. I don't mind you being a distraction, though. This is comfy and nice. I honestly didn't know what I was thinking when I invited you in. I just... I needed comfort, and well, here you are wrapped around me. How do you put up with me, honestly? I do not know. I'm still quite surprised you didn't just post the notes under the door and walk away. I think that's what I would have done if I was in your shoes, but I'm not like you. No one is like you. That's what makes you you. You're intriguing and different. I don't know why you behave and act the way you do, but it's refreshing. It's different and that makes you all the better. Yeah, yeah, the moment I talk about how you are, you start getting shifty. Alright, I'll stop, I'll stop, just settle. <sighs> I should probably make it up to you when I get better. 
Maybe take you to a cafe and treat you to a hot beverage and a sweet roll. Hey, you got my gaming reference. I knew you were a nerd. No point in hiding that you don't play video games from me. I am a nerd as well. Oh, you don't believe me? Well, put it this way. The pillow that we are sharing right now has a Nintendo Switch and a DS under it. That PC over there has a 3080. And I was a console pleb when I grew up. Does that answer your question? And any skeptical claims you have of me? <sighs> it's probably why I can handle being alone for such long periods of time. I get immersed in a fantasy world, but I don't know what happened tonight, I just couldn't bear it. Thank you for being here when no one else is. I know I shut them out and prevent anyone getting close, but like I said, you're that puppy that didn't know it was being rejected and ended up kinda getting closer to me than anyone else could. I, uh, I wouldn't be mad if we had another sleepover at some point. You live on campus too, right? But you have a roommate. Maybe when it's all getting too much, you could come knock on my door again. Promise I'll clean up properly next time. Just when you're sick, you don't exactly feel like picking up after yourself. <sighs> hey, you don't have to play with my hair. You've already done enough for me, I promise. <sighs> yes, it is good, I confess. Are you happy now? Do you have sisters or something? How do you know to be so gentle and patient with a girl? Instinctually, uh, figuring out that petting me would put me to sleep because it's working, mister. <laughs> oh, it's working alright. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not falling asleep. I just, I need to rest my eyes a little bit and that's all. Just, just wake me up if I do fall asleep. Um, I, uh, I, I can stay up. I gotta entertain the guests. And... Oh, um, 